Romans chapter 8, verses 7 through 15. Why is this true? Because anyone whose thinking is controlled by their sinful self is against God. They refuse to obey God's law, and really they are not able to obey it. Those who are ruled by their sinful selves cannot please God. But you are not ruled by your sinful selves. You are ruled by the Spirit. If that Spirit of God really lives in you, But whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to Christ. Your body will always be dead because of sin. But if Christ is in you, then the Spirit gives you life because Christ made you right with God. God raised Jesus from death. And if God's Spirit lives in you, he will also give you life to your bodies that die. Yes, God is the one who raised Christ from death and he will raise you to life through his Spirit living in you. So, my brothers and sisters... We must not be ruled by our sinful selves. We must not live in the way of our sinful selves want. If you use your lives to do what your sinful selves want, you will die spiritually. But if you use your spirit's help to stop doing wrong things you do with your body, you will have true life. The true children of God are those who let God's spirit lead them. The spirit that we receive is not a spirit that makes us slaves again and causes us to fear. The spirit that we make, that we have, makes us God's chosen children. And with that spirit, we cry out, Abba, Father.